Menhir X, a circumbinary planet circling two rapid stars, traveled a dangerous path. The P-type planet maintained a just barely distance of twice each sun's separation. Any closer, the celestial orbit would destabilize, and a hot sun would swallow the unfortunate world where the introverted alums resided. The yellowish humanoids had always been aware of this possible apocalyptic demise. Translated into human tongue, the cataclysmic end sounded like dead day. Instead of fearing this future, the alums chose to focus their thoughts on the small pleasures gained from exchanging a rare xenon gas for raw sugar with the far edge trade union that dared to venture out so far into the Laniakia supercluster. But the worn down human farmers, criminal and indentured types, sweated over the genetically modified cane fields. They struggled to pay off never ending debts to a faraway Earth society and to a thankless, profit motivated organization. And they never enjoyed a single nanosecond in their current worried states of existence. The high, blood red suns constantly sweated out moisture from Jax Kempner's sugarcane plot of land. Irrigation spray guns avoided his hardening soil. Billets strained to push dry stalks upward toward a punishing sky. By afternoon, a stilted rainfall teased the dying plants and promptly gave up on the small crop. The sugar cane slumped. A slow wind exhaled a long sigh. Jax cut another handful of the thin grass. The machete blade quickly sliced through the hollow, empty rods. He kicked at the pathetic yield, imagining Dal Ray grinning and knowing that the trade union debt was piling up and realizing that he and Delna may starve this season. The farmer wondered if a paradise waited somewhere else. If Jax didn't pay a small amount on his loan this season, the trade union could sell his debt and sugarcane field to Dahl Ray. Unfortunately, Dahl didn't forgive obligations, and he raised interest rates so high that the loan principal could never be paid. The farmer asked for another loan to pay for irrigation fees, but the trade union refused. His account was in arrears. Jax would have to ask the only person he knew for a loan, Dole Ray. And Dole not only wanted the plot of land, but also seemed interested in Delna. But Jax needed a loan before the entire crop died. A four-wheeled transport growled up a nearby path, making its way over. Dole Ray stopped close and got off the machine. Beautiful day, Dole said. Too hot. Every day is a new grace. For some. Temperance, my friend. I have respect for all. Dull crushed cane stalks under his boot and spit. He pulled a cigar enclosed in a glass tube from a jacket pocket and grinned at Jax. To honor our new deal, Dull said. He held out the tobacco stick, a bent earth Dominican that had somehow been damaged in shipping. Gone in a puff of smoke, Jack snatched it from Dole's meaty hand. At least the water flows again, for now. A debt would be paid. Jax watched Dole wheel away. The farmer decided not to tell Delna about the loan. He would make it work.